What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. This is not a paid review, but this is the Hoftac Industries Omnicarry Inside the Waistband Holster. Hoftac Industries is located in Meridian, Idaho, and this holster uh, supposedly fits over 300 different handguns. I was really curious when I saw this in the store to see um, just how effective it's going to be. So I went ahead and bought one and uh, we're going to start out trying it with the Beretta 9000S that is on, uh, on loan to the channel for right now. The holster itself does not claim to fit the 9000S, but it does fit the PX4 Storm, which, aside from a few minor differences, is an identical firearm to the 9000S. So we'll see if it actually uh, fits that. And then we'll try it with some of the other firearms that we have and uh, see what, uh, what it looks like, see if it works. Now, I will tell you right out the gate, I am a little bit skeptical of this. Um, I don't know what kind of fit to, to be able to fit over 300 handguns, just on the side of the box, it says all Glock models, including Glock 43 and Glock 42, all SIG polymer frame pistols, all Smith & Wesson, SDVE, M&P, and bodyguard models, including 45, all Ruger SR American and security models, all Springfield Armory XD, XDM, and XDS models, all Walther, Creed, CCP, PPX, PPQ, P99, PPS, PPK, and P22, all SCCY models, all Taurus polymer frame pistols, all Canic series pistols, all polymer CZ models, and all Shadow Systems models, um, and many, many more. So I'm curious how a holster, because a Glock is a very distinctive shape compared to something like this. So I'm curious if this holster really will adapt. Um, with this, it comes with a uh, looks like a base plate part that you can use for different models but supposedly all you have to do is put your pistol in adjust the tension on the front of this holster and uh, it will form this backer will form to your pistol and take care of the rest It does fit. We'll have to adjust the tension on this. Looks like Phillips screwdrivers and an Allen key. But right out the gate, it actually does. The retention feels pretty good on it already. Um, you can see on the end down here, it's got more of the square Glock type shape to it. It's got nice foam padding on the back. Feels fairly comfortable. It's actually, I'll give it to them, it's more uh, robust and a better design than I thought it was going to be. So, um, yeah, let me get some tools and we'll adjust the tension on this a little bit more and uh, go from there. All right, we've adjusted the retention and it seems to actually be a fairly good fit. Um, this reminds me in a way to be similar to an alien gear type holster um, with the polymer in the backer. So I'm going to uh, put this on and wear it for a little bit and then we'll uh, see how it feels, see how it looks and uh, what kind of concealability we're looking at with it. All right, I've been carrying this holster around better part of the day, just around the house here and uh, getting stuff done. And I gotta say, it's very comfortable very uh very secure it's holding the pistol very well but i'm still able to draw it and reholster it fairly easily so at this point uh, i'm taking back my doubts that i had about this holster i'm gonna test it down the road with some other firearms that i have and uh, see how it works for those but for this beretta 9000 
it uh, it works. Well, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman. Again, I really am a fan of this. Sometimes ideas and applications don't always mesh up. Um, sometimes when things are produced, the concept uh, is lost and it's not functioning the way that it was intended to or the way it was thought that it would. This doesn't seem to be the issue at all uh, with this holster. I'm, I'm a fan of it. Again, I'm not being paid to say that or anything. It's a holster that I saw in the gun store and it piqued my interest, so I went ahead and bought it. Um, I'll put a link for them down in the description below, so you can head over and check them out. If you liked this video and found it informative, please consider following the channel. Somewhere around 97% of my followers or my viewers are not following me. So um, if you'd be willing to do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Just reach down and hit that follow button. Leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought. And be sure to check out Idaho Rifleman on Instagram and Facebook as well. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time here on Idaho Rifleman.